Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, in this video, we look at the best ways to control the Prestige 5 Level 100 Computator so you guys know how to use it or when you get it, or you can effectively use it now if you already have it. So, before we get into it, make sure to smash out the subscribe button. I'll leave a like on the video, as it really does help the channel out. 5,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a 5,000 Robux giveaway, which is super exciting. And without further ado, oh yes, join my Discord, because Discord is super fun chatting with you guys there. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to be, I just can't speak English, showing you guys uh, how to actually control the commutator and use it to its Worse, max it's ability. And oh my goodness, jeepers creepers, weird that on planet Earth did that come from? I have no idea. But anyway, uh, it was actually a YouTube video that I was watching before, but that's besides the point. So, uh, first of all, uh, we're actually going to go over the fact that you may not realize it, but the Max Commutator is actually slightly slower than Halo, and it has Nitro, so it obviously goes very fast on plan, and it keeps its speed very well once you speed it up, just like the previous Commutators. Um, so, it's actually a, just generally a really fast land vehicle and it's like faster than Myron and stuff which was obviously the previous with 100 rewards and stuff like that uh which is well that's actually really good so you know if you can't get anywhere to, to be able to collide it then well voila you can just drive it like a normal vehicle and i mean what can i say it looks absolutely awesome like if you have the magma skin like i have if if there was a slash day command then that would be so beautiful but there's one which really sucks um then it looks like it looks so 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 cool and this is a vehicle that you're going to be rocking like seriously what do you prefer the design of this thing or the design of the fury that's exactly what i thought Right, so next we are going to be talking over the gliding, which you probably know about on Commutator, because that's like, I think the main reason that people think that it's a good vehicle is the fact that it can glide, but as I mentioned before, it's actually also really fast, just online generally. I feel like it could be faster, but like, it's, it's still really fast. But, so with gliding, so a lot of people say that the gliding is really bad but I actually disagree with that okay and so uh this so how so how to glide so first of all if you didn't know actually you know what I'm gonna go up to the hero base real quick it's just so I can show you from like up a above just wait for nitro to regain right now that the nitro has kindly regained um i will show you so if we get up real quick so obviously you can go up which you can actually go up really really well with nitro but then if you press s then you go down quite fast and obviously you gain speed exactly like jets and then if you don't want to bounce then you can hold f if you do want to bounce then as soon as you touch the ground hit W, but if we try this on like a, in fact we could just try it there, why didn't I just try it there, that would have been such a better idea, you know what, we're just going to try it here, then I can, voila, and continue going up, and then as soon as you've reached the up peak, start going down, and that is actually the fastest way to glide with the thing and then obviously you can use nitro to continue boosting uh or something like that if you crash which is really good unfortunately the c doesn't actually i feel like it doesn't make you glide as much as it used to it used to make you glide like a lot 
uh, but it doesn't actually as much anymore, which is really unfortunate. But I mean, it's it's fine. But so yeah, that that's how you glide like effectively. And there's obviously lots of ways that you can get up. So the best ways to do it is well, obviously from a ramp. However, I reckon that the like the best best oh my goodness that I'm paused again okay um but I think that the best best way to do it is actually well like the easiest more common way is through nature so over here there's like sort of ramps up here that you can use that basically just make you go straight up and they're really good and obviously the one that we used before as well works really well and also things like that so those are much more common around the map or just like a general hill so for instance uh if we go by the jetpack place or where you upgrade your commutator uh there is a hill here and then obviously a hill on the other side as well and obviously the hill on the other side would have been a tiny bit better as i crashed straight into a building there but like you know and then we get to the other thing so actually come completely failed that there I was hoping that was going to be a beautiful segue. Long story short, it wasn't. So, uh, the other thing that really helps is like catching on to buildings. So, there's obviously a bunch of like small buildings. If I could just get somewhere that I would end up on top of one of those buildings. We hit, oops, oh my goodness me. Right, okay, uh, let's try that again, there we go. Uh, so, I was over here, we're going to go up using, that's not really, never mind, that's fine. And then what you can do is we're going over, and it looks like we're going to lose speed as we're going quite slow. Catch onto this building, and as you can see, we gained speed quite a lot and then do the same thing with this building to so gain more speed and continue going faster and it's basically like a basically like a nitro boost so obviously not as fast as the hyper glider you do have to keep that in mind that it doesn't glide as fast as the hyper glider however uh, you can actually do it for significantly longer and if you fail uh, it's so much easier to regain which is obviously super duper helpful uh so yeah that's like the main like best ways to glide and use the commutator uh it does take quite a bit of practice um basically since i got max level i basically just been spending the majority of my time in Mad City just driving around with the commutator and finding the best ways to do it and the best buildings to catch etc and all of that god stuff so uh yeah that is it for this video i do hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one bye